it feels like an Indiana Jones mission. You're really trying to make your own treasure map beforehand. You try to pick like, okay, we think these areas are interesting. Hopefully we do find the, the old ice that we are looking for. Antarctic ice is really special because in that ice you have really little tiny air bubbles. And if you can extract these air bubbles, you're really looking at the atmosphere from a very long time ago. And one of the things that, for instance, we want to understand is trying to link past temperatures to past concentrations in CO2, because that is also something we can use towards the future to understand how temperatures may evolve if CO2's, uh, CO2 concentrations will be going up. We are hopeful that we will find ice in the orders of a million years old. If we are able to retrieve that, we can learn a lot about the climate of the past uh, that we haven't been able to see before. Uh, and being able to see and understand the climate of the past, we can better understand what will happen uh, with climate change of the future.